This is a uh, short video about a little, uh, basically a terminal I've created. It's uh, using an old TI-99-4A keyboard. Used to be able to find these in the surplus market, but it seems as if they're getting harder and harder to find. Um, the computers themselves are pretty easy to find. It's uh, The key matrix is running to a PIC microcontroller, which is doing the decoding of the key, obviously the key scans, and what it's sending out is a uh, a TTL level RS232 signal. It's being sent over to a video chip that I created on a, a DSPIC 30 uh, 3012. It's running at 12 megahertz. Inside, it's being uh, upped to 48, and it's the uh, the basic voltage divider kind of a, a signal out that gives you a black and white uh, black and white video. Um, I'm able to get a 40 by 24 character screen out in uh, NTSC, all done in software. And um, I do have some graphics, uh, graphic characters loaded on the upper ASCII table. Uh, it's running the standard ASCII for uh, you know your alphanumerics that you have off the keyboard. Uh, the only thing is, at the moment, the keyboard, I haven't mapped it to the upper one, so I'm not getting any of the graphic characters out, but if you have any kind of other PIC microcontroller or any kind of controller whatsoever, they can send, uh, you know, the upper 128 ASCII characters over to it. It will produce them. Um, at the moment, the chip is set up to scroll. Uh, it hits the bottom line, the 24th line. It will bump everything up. Um, there's a little glitch in the screen when you see it because of the timing that's in there. It's it's moving 900 and something characters in memory, and I was uh, not able to find a good place to hide that code while the video timing is is staying on. I'm not using interrupts to do any of the video timing. The video timing's all done in software as straight line code. Uh, it's it's pretty simple. I, I didn't want to use uh, interrupts because they get confusing depending on where you are in the code and having to, uh, you know, the save variables and whatnot. It just, for me, I never liked them. At some point, I'm sure I'm going to have to start using them in other projects, but at this point in time, I don't, I didn't on this one. Okay, this is a startup screen. This is what happens when you turn the video chip on. You get a, a title display. All being done in software, that can easily be changed to anything you want it to say or nothing at all. Uh, one thing you may notice missing is a cursor. Uh, not knowing where the cursor is kind of makes it difficult sometimes when you're just playing around but obviously if you're sending a signal from another microcontroller or somewhere else um, you're going to be doing some formatting anyway so you should be able to keep track of where the cursor is. At some point I'm going to add one because I want to I do want to turn this into uh, you know the, the video output of a basic 8-bit computer um, you know like the old 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 Apple II before they got into color. It might even have been an Apple one, you know, do the assembly, uh, disassembly kind of screens and monitors and whatnot. Um, knowing, you know, having written the software, I know that the cursor is at the top left hand corner of the screen. It's at the beginning of that title line. So if I hit the enter key twice, it drops it down twice, obviously, and then you can type in a little, you know, text as you go. Oops simple as that. Um, the scrolling does do a little jitter when it scrolls the screen. Oops. No, I'm a little missing. So I'm missing the cursor. Sometimes it gets tough to figure out where it is. Oh, you saw a little glitch there. So we hit the bottom and it starts to try and scroll. Uh, it's usually when I get the biggest glitch. And very few characters on the screen. Sometimes you can see them happen in there. It's something overly offensive, no, because it's gone in theoretically. It's gone at one thirtieth of a second because the video screen is being constantly refreshed every one thirtieth of a second, or twenty-nine point nine seven per second. And that's about it. <clears throat> there are keys in there for clearing the screen. Put your cursor back at the top. Uh, graphic characters at the top 128 of the ASCII code as I was saying but at the moment I don't have this keyboard uh, uh, the scan codes in it are not reading anything for the upper 128